Hi everybody! How you doing? It's your boy Dusty over here on the fabulous West Coast. We still don't have an intro video, but it's okay. It's okay. This means we got more time with you guys out there and our fabulous guest who's joining us from Van Hoover, Canada. That would be your waifu stealer and mine. Flash Sentry himself. Mr. Vincent Tong. Mr. Ah, Tong. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, yeah. ah, wait, wait, wait. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Come on, put up your saying here. There we go. Saying here. Ah, yep. ah, oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Can't that do it. Morning, the, the morning saying here. <laughs> Twitter. Oh. Which I which you put up today. Man, look I at like... that thing. <laughs> wow. Is it up there? It's up there now. It's up there. You went to sleep. Not gonna lie. Did you I was go trying to, sleep to replicate with gel in your hair or something? Oh, dude, that is just, it's always messed up. Wow. That's it's crazy. It, it has a mind of its own. Nuts. How you been, my boy? You know, I, I was checking. We had you on the show mm -hmm. literally two years and two days ago. No way, really? Really. Wow. Last time you were on was January 26th of 2012. Huh? <laughs> no, 2013. Excuse me. So two years. Okay. Crazy. That is crazy. I mean, a lot, I, it, of, a lot has lot, happened. A lot has happened. We've yeah. had uh, two movies. Mm -hmm. We've had Rainbow Rocks, and we've had Rainbow the, the other one. The other one, the other one. Yep. And then we've had another couple of seasons, and yeah. you've done everybody from Donut Joe to the delegate from Meritonia. Right. Yes. And it's like as soon as I heard it, I was like, "Yeah, that's Vince." That's Vince. <laughs> you know what? They needed a male voice in the room, and Flash Sensor was already there. Say, so, "Hey, Vince, can you do this voice?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how it went, didn't it? They, they, you know what was funny? I actually like left the building. Oh, really? They, someone called me. It was like, Vince, come back up. I'm like, they, they want you to do something else. I'm like, what? That's cool. it's, it's a delegate or something. I'm like, oh, okay. Ooh. So I like, ran in and, and did it. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was outside already. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Garble, who hasn't been back in nope. a while. Garble, it's I a think, bad. is a one off, but yeah, you know, everyone mm -hmm. loves the Garble. Um, so. Uh, you haven't been on in a while, so we go. We now we do this. Uh, what was that? that? Must have been your Skype going off. Um, crazy. Um, this is our standard first question for all the guests now. So, what are some of the cartoons and comics you watched or read as a child, or are still watching to this day? Hmm. Cartoons I used to watch as a kid: yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, I didn't for know. sure. Didn't we all? I had all, not all, but I had like three box, boxes of, of all my Ninja Turtle action figures and, and the, the, the vehicles. I never had the, 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 the truck or the van that they had, mm -hmm. the pizza van. The pizza van. But I had, the, I had this like little zip car where you would like <clears throat> run this kind of little ripcord. Oh, yeah, the ripcord. Yeah, and it would kind of rev up and then the, the little pizza vehicle would fly out. But... um. Um, yeah, Ninja Turtles is a huge influence for mm -hmm. me as a kid, and uh, and uh, Bobby's World. Bobby's World, yeah. Bobby's World was good. Yeah. Um, what other ones? GI Joe. Mm -hmm. So, who was your favorite? Silverhawks. Saberhawks. Saber Silverhawks. Yeah. Have you guys watched Silverhawks? Silver I don't know. Silverhawks. Silver 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 That's what it is. Silverhawks. Silverhawks. No, I don't know many 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 people know about that one. No, Silverhawks was only on for like a season. I think so. Two. It was really cool. Yeah, Galaxy was, Rangers. Galaxy Rangers. Uh, Mask. Uh, Mask. Mask yeah. was in that same Silver Hawks. And, and Cops. Oh, yeah. Love that theme song. And uh, all, all Disney movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the Disney. Did, so um, you, we're talking about animation, obviously, but did you actually get into comic books as a kid? You know what? Not really. really? A lot of my friends did. Yeah, I, I never was a big comic guy. I kind of pretended I was. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> Spider Man's cool, cool, and yeah, I love Batman. Batman. Cool. He's a yeah. Fan I was. Of I, I thought it was it was a cool thing, but I was such a. I was such a little uh, Disney nerd that I just really stuck with my Disney stuff. Oh, okay. And nobody else was into it, you know? And mm -hmm. that's why I felt like a bit of a loner back when I was a kid. I was a bit of a closeted Disney freak, and I never really expressed it too much to my, my peers it's because they were all into, like, the badass, mm -hmm. uh, you know, comic book heroes. And, yep. Yeah, so. Yeah, I was sort of, I was sort of, sort of closeted because my, my folks always sat us in front of the TV on Saturday nights for a wild world of Disney. So, nice. And everybody talked about it because back then you didn't have cable. It was basically <laughs> right. over the airwaves. 
and all right, right, right. Channel 7, 8 p.m. every Saturday night. There you go. That's all you had. Um, second question. Amy, you know what? Amy, I completely forgot that you had done this, but Amy and I had basically fire hosed all of Death Note like uh-huh. a month ago. We watched it all. Like, we watched five episodes <clears throat> of an evening. And That's a I lot. had That's forgotten hard. that you were on that show. That's Matsuda. right. Yeah, man. Matsuda. Um, Matsuda. Matsuda. Thank you. Matsuda. Yes. Um, Matsuda. He was sort of the weird character. He sort of, he, he was, he had that, you know, that streak of, we're going to get him, we're going to get him, we're going to get him. He's almost even to the point where he knew what was going on, but he ignored it. Right. Yeah, he was a fun character to play. Yeah. He was a bit of the bumbling cop in the yeah. beginning, kind of learning the ropes mm-hmm. and making many mistakes, kind of like <clears throat> trial by error there. But um, he he comes out. I don't know if you saw the last episode yet. Yeah, um, actually, I haven't. Okay, so I won't say anything. But okay. he kind of you know he kind of mans up. Oh, okay. He mans up and kind of learns a lot of lessons. So it's kind of it's, it was a nice nice uh, character arc for him. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was a really fun. Um, Fun show to do. I actually it was it was. I think I just got Iron Man. I'm not sure. They all sort of happened at the same time. Right. Yeah. Uh, when I did Iron Man Armored Adventures, mm-hmm. playing the Mandarin and Gene Khan. Okay. And then I auditioned for this this ADR series mm-hmm. called Death Note. I didn't know anything about it, but I had a callback for Light actually. Yeah. And um and it was sort of my kind of you know I'm a rookie at, at the voice world and. Mm-hmm gone in i was like cool i got a callback for this lead character and i found out i didn't get it but mm-hmm. like, i got this other character named matsuda and um i thought it was a great gift actually because he's he's kind of he's kind of like me super goofy right and uh constantly making mistakes well it's, it's a huge <laughs> it's a huge title too death note is huge yeah you know, i States. think so people love mm-hmm. that thing and, you know, I, mm-hmm. didn't, I didn't even get it right but when it first took off i'm going what's this thing with the note and yes that people die and then yeah. all of a sudden my Amy was into it. I said, come on, let's watch a couple. And all of a sudden I got hooked and we just fire hosed the whole thing. Yeah, man, you can get so – I got hooked on it. I mean I was doing the voices for it and mm-hmm. I was like reading the scripts. And with ADR, you don't get the full right. script sometimes. You just get kind of your own lines uh-huh. and you're not in there with the cast. Right. It's all out of order. So, I, But I was reading it and I got really intrigued by the storyline and all the intricacies of how this Death Note actually worked. And wow. Yeah, I, I fell in love with the story. That's, yeah, it was really good. I got into it at the end, too, and we were just watching mm-hmm. the whole thing. It was great. Um, yeah. What are your feelings? Because you are actually a Lego figure. Um, what are your feelings <laughs> on the Lego movie being left out of Oscar contention and also that the Ninjago characters were completely left out of the movie? Oh, um, oh wow, that's a good question. I've never been asked that. Yeah. I, I think it was a great movie. It was a really fun story, and I think they did a great job with it. Um, I don't know. I think you know what to tell you the truth. I don't even I didn't even know they were or weren't up for Oscar contention. Mm-hmm. You know what? That's my alarm telling me to come on this show. I gotta go <laughs> shut it off right now. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. Well, he goes and turns off his his alarm. Yes. So. All right. That's okay. All right. Not a problem. We only got a live show we're doing here. Uh. I'm actors. Uh, actors. Hey, we. I have to set alarms for myself. I have, I have so many things that are going on. I gotta, you know, give myself a little reminder. That's awesome that you got all this stuff going. It's great. Actually, you got, you've <laughs> yeah. got all this work. I mean, only a couple of years ago, you weren't doing anything. You were basically just getting into voice acting, and and you were still what doing theater. And all stuff, and now you've got alarms telling you you have to be here to go do this. It's awesome. You know what? It's true. Yeah, I've, this is the busiest I've ever been uh, uh, voice wise. It's been uh, it's been great. It's it's been yeah, busy. you've got this new this new project I hear called uh, Exchange Student Zero. Oh yeah, Exchange Student Zero. That's right. Yeah, we wrapped that up um, early, kind of like late fall maybe. Yeah. Um, of last year, and uh, yeah, that was an awesome project. That one was really fun. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there was a audition for this part named John Stitt okay. that I eventually got, and mm-hmm. but they wanted they wanted sort of like a uh, a um, Rick and Morty um, kind of voice type. Okay. So like re- really uh, skittery, he, he's kind of a nerd, and, and but he's constantly like just d- double guessing himself. Mm-hmm. And um, so I like studied, I like watched all Rick and Morty, which isn't hard because right. it's such an awesome show. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's okay. hilarious. There's this guy named, named, named Rick and, uh, and he constantly burps his up. <laughs> and, um, and Morty's his grandson. Oh. And um, 
Yeah, hilarious show. Anyway, needless to say, I got the part, which was awesome. I was so grateful for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to work with Charlie Adler. Oh, okay. Uh, Charlie Adler is the voice of Starscream mm -hmm. on um, the, the Transformers movies, as well as he directed all the Rugrat, Rugrat movies. Okay. And done so many different cartoons. You know, he's got over like 200 credits on IMDb. Mm -hmm. Check him out. He's amazing. Crazy as hell. Okay. Was like freaked out to go to sessions because he's so high energy. His pacing is just so different than up in Vancouver. We're really chill up here, I find. Right. Relaxed, kind of making jokes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. He's constantly making jokes, but he's like louder than everybody else. Oh, but he's like makes his jokes. He cracks you up and he goes, okay, now go. Roll it. Oh, <laughs> you just Jeez. gotta be like, holy crap. So you have to really be on the ball with him. Mm -hmm. um, but he was such a, such a great director too. Really good insight. He knew exactly what he wanted and um, yeah, he, he works with a furious pace. But he's amazing. He came up actually to Vancouver to uh, direct us once. Oh, cool. And I uh, got to hang out with him and, and chat and we kind of swapped stories of the old theater days because mm -hmm. he used to do theater and gymnastics. So we talked about like parkour and gymnastics nice. and stuff. Yeah, the dude's an awesome guy. Yeah, I heard that um, Mark Hamill was on yeah. that show too. Yeah, they did. They did a. Uh, I think it was like a mini movie. Oh, okay. It's a GoPro with an Australian company. Mm -hmm. So they have Rove McManus, who is a huge Australian star. Um, he had like a, a talk show in Australia, mm -hmm. and um, so he's voicing many of the characters. Okay. But uh, I think they did a, a a original mini movie with Mark Hamill as well as some other LA people. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to be a I think it's a thirteen episode series now. That's cool. Uh, yeah. So now we're doing the TV series. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah. Let's talk. Okay, we're all here for one thing, right? Rainbow rocks. Rainbow Rocks. Let's talk Rainbow Rocks right about now. Yeah, it yes. was a, it was a real, um, uh, really This time, cool. Flash is under their spell. Yes. As it was. It gets a bit rough <clears throat> around his <throat> edges a bit. How, was it really hard to take that happy-go-lucky Flash Sentry character and basically make him standoffish, hard, rude, without actually pushing him into bully mode? Um... It was, and not so much for the story, and not so much for my own character, but I was just fearful of what the fans were going to say, because <laughs> I knew that Flash was getting some hate already from, uh, from the first movie. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my gosh, what are these writers trying to do to me? <laughs> They're just trying to get bronies to like beat me up or something. <laughs> uh, we love you. Oh, thanks, man. No, but it was uh, it was a bit it was a bit daunting going like okay, I'm saying some pretty rude things to Twilight here. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, but th it was actually kind of scary in there because they asked me to go quite far with it. Mm. I was like, are you? And I had to question them. I'm like, are you sure you want me to to do this? I, I'm feeling like I'm a bit of a jerk right now. I'm a jerk. I'm like, yeah. no, just just give us some alt. So kind of like had to push it a bit more than, than I felt comfortable. But mm -hmm. I mean, that's my job, right? I got right, to do what yeah. the directors want and, and what the vision they have. Because I, you know, I didn't know what it was going to look like. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, you know, okay, it's clearly that they're going to be under a spell. This is not what Flash really intends to right. say to Twilight. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it was, it was fine by the end of it. But I did have, you know, some concerns. Some concerns. I mean, yeah. I, in fact... When we did uh, Brony's react to Rainbow Rocks, yeah, <laughs> you had the scene where he says, "There it is again, so annoying," <laughs> you know, and you actually made her made her cry. It's like I, I, I said, "There it is, Flash Sensory, number one public enemy of Brony's <laughs> right now." You make Brony you know, cry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, what are you doing to me? These Dude. writers have no idea what goes yes, what goes be on behind the scenes. Well, good writing is create wonderful, lovable characters and then hurt them. Yeah, it's true. That's, yeah, that's and, the best and, writing. Yeah. So. Instigate conversation and, yeah. and thoughts. Absolutely. Uh, so, next question. The whole Flash Twilight thing. And I got the, the first where Flash and Twilight actually met, which is in the coffee shop from the first movie, over mm -hmm. my shoulder. Um, these movies are really are preteen kids. I mean, these ones are a little bit older kids. You know, they're not for the, the younger set. And... A lot of those kids have that first time awkward moment, guy, girl, figuring out opposites attract thing, right? Yeah. So it, it's it's more fun doing those awkward scenes, right? Where you, you and 
in, in Twilight can like <laughs> <coughs> you know, bump into each other. Yeah, some girls. Yeah, a little Keep more fun doing doing that, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it tells a bit about you know, especially like the, in the scene where you Flash runs into the uh, music room and and is all like, uh, "Well, is Twilight coming?" And he bumps into the wall on the way out. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I know that was a cute scene. I really enjoy that scene. A little bit more fun than in, in, uh, doing those. Um, and also, you're going to PonyCon New York City soon. I know. Yeah, just yeah, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Um, mm-hmm. This is your first East Coaster, right? I believe you... so. Yeah. Well, I went down to Fiesta Equestria, okay. but that's in um, that was in Houston. That was Houston. That's Midwest. Midwest. Mostly. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, of course, not your first time in New York as an, as a person actor, probably. Um, what, what, what are you looking forward to in New York at this convention and really doing in New York? I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting the East Coast Brony fandom mm-hmm. just because I've, I've met a few people. You know, um, Buttons is one of those guys yep. that, you know, has flown all the way over to the West to, to see us. But um, uh, shout out to Buttons. Buttons. Um, <laughs> but uh, but it's, just, it's just cool to, to experience, yeah, like the, all, the, all the fans of the show from the East and – and uh, I've been, you know, very, very graciously been given a warm welcome already over Twitter and over um, on their site. So it's been really nice to uh, to kind of be embraced by them. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting all those peeps. And they asked me to to be a part of a, a certain panel. You know, they're like, do you want to talk about what the differences between theater and film and TV and or how you got started as a voice actor or uh, you show some martial arts if you can. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like... I'm like, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I want to teach a little dance class. There you go. So, what I'm going to do in New York is teach a little dance class to anyone who wants to uh to get down and get jiggy. That's awesome because you know uh, <laughs> uh, Ingrid Nilsson did a yoga class. Oh, did she? At one, yeah. So she did nice. a yoga class at a convention. Ooh, so, nice. having you guys do the stuff that's off model if you want to call it that at these conventions. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, man. Awesome. I just thought it was like it's funny, you know. In uh, in Houston, mm-hmm. I got in there. The we had just come back from uh, the NASA space station or mm-hmm. space center, and um, and we it was so hot outside. Wow. We get go into the convention room and it's freezing. It's oh, so we got the air conditioning blast, and then I was like. Oh my gosh, guys! Hi, it's like my first introduction, saying hi to these guys. And I'm like, you guys, I'm so cold right now. You guys would do some push-ups with me. And I just like <laughs> ran down, and like everyone started doing push-ups. It was like awesome. I'm like this is great. Was, Everyone's so happy, cool. and we're all getting fit together. This mm-hmm. is awesome. That's cool. So I thought, you know, let's just get physical and let's get physical, physical, yeah. and uh, and uh, you know, do a little dance class. It's gonna be lots of fun. Oh, that's awesome. It's gonna be you know anyone who's gonna be going. Relax. We're gonna have fun. Mm-hmm. It's not, there's no pressure. It's gonna be easy, easy kind of fun moves to do, and there's gonna be room for improv, so yes. you can put your own little dance moves in there. So, yes. no rumbas. You can do rumba. You can do rumba if you if if that's your thing. Yeah. Anyway, rumba, rumba, rumba away. Rumba away. That's cool. So, um, to bring, I'm gonna bring up that I went up to Vancouver this summer. Yes, you did. And showed up at Vancouver and then you showed up and we had breakfast and mm-hmm. here's a picture of us with the helmets, you, me, and Gabe. Um, <laughs> this is actually in the cafe. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Deacon's below, Corner. Deacon's Corner, right below DHX. Um, and it was, it was awesome. You got, you showed up on your Suzuki and yeah. Gabe showed up on the Ducati Yeah. and my bike was down. <laughs> in, the, in the garage. I drove, no, I drove all the way up there and the bike was actually broken. So the battery, if I remember, if you remember correctly, the, the battery was down because the charging system on the bike was screwed up. But because uh, you're crazy and you I'm, drove all the way, up north. I'm an idiot. I drove 16 straight hours. Well, not 16 yeah. straight. Hours. I took a six-hour nap and then drove up. But you're nuts. I'm nuts. I, I, and I then you sold, had to go back to work. I did. I had to go back to work, and I had to drive all the way back down and go back to work. In fact, I was late. My my, this is how it went down, right? My boss calls me on this on the, the GPS phone thing in my ear. And mm-hmm. says, hey, Dusty, are you going to be in today? And I'm, like, driving down the 5 in Oregon. <laughs> I'm going, I don't think I'm going to be in today, boss. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in Oregon. Okay, bye, click. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a crazy trip, but yeah. Yeah, uh, man. How's, how's, well, yeah. The, how's the Suzuki? It's great. Is yeah, it? I just took it out today, actually. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I just had a little session today, and then, uh, yeah, it's so beautiful up here right now. I think it was, like, 13 degrees or something. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Wow. And remember, people, it's Celsius. Celsius. Oh, that's yeah. Not, that's Sorry, not 13 guys. degrees in New York no, at the that moment. That would be very cold. Where it's yeah, that's... yeah, that'd be really cold. I really hope that storm is done by the time we have to go over there. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll be done. It'll be all cleaned up by then. Cleaned oh, up. look at us. We're like eating food and stuff. We're eating food and stuff, yes. That was look my favorite that. picture from that trip. <laughs> 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 look, look at this guy with, with the lips. Yeah. That was awesome. Give me a little kiss. Oh, and one other thing I found while I was doing some research for this is, God, dude, your, your, your whole... This this picture broke it for me, right? Because you're like this fun, happy-go-lucky guy, and then all of a sudden I find this picture in your headshots. <laughs> it's like, what are you trying to do? It's like, this. What, what are you trying to get like the biopic of of you know, like some kung fu guy? Look at this! <laughs> wow, look at the bi look at the tricep here. Look at that. Look, look at, at the, the look tricep. At that tricep. <laughs> wow, flex that sucker. Wow. I was, I wasn't even talking, man. I wasn't flexing. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. <laughs> That's just how it is. Like, you know, I got like coached on this. Did His you? His name is Jordan Dumpka. It's an amazing photographer. He goes, yeah. he shoots all over the world, does lots of fashion shots. But he like coached me on like how to flex. Yeah? It's so funny. Yeah. Wow. He like has this like routine that he goes over with all the guys. He says, okay, you, and he does this other. I, oh, you got a good bicep. Look, look, saw that. Oh, yeah, let's, look at that, sir. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, he just totally coached me on how to flex and, and um, how, where to hold mm -hmm. your, your, your arm for the best angle, for the best lighting. Nice. The guy was a total pro. Wow. But uh, yeah, it's not like that in real life. No. It's like totally fo photoshopped. Um, oh, it? It's you, not even my body. No, no just kidding. Did you, did you actually use like the tan lotion you had to put on? No, hell no. <laughs> no. No way, man. No, I just, I just flexed. I, did, I think I did some push-ups and some chin-ups. It's like it's so funny, you know. You watch these movies with these mm -hmm. guys with their shirts off, and you have no idea. And they're just like, "Hey, what's up? How's it going?" Yeah, I just uh, just got up, but like they've been like doing crazy setups, crazy push-ups, yep. just to get ripped. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know that that those shots I did specifically because I was being kind of because I always wanted to to be a comedic actor, okay. And uh, I wanted to do character acting, mm -hmm. but it's so difficult in this industry. People kind of see you for what you look like. Right. So um, I was getting kind of pissed off at that and going like, they're not seeing me for anything else except for these triad members. So okay. I'm just going to give it to them. So I had a whole photo shoot with like strictly crazy hair, mm -hmm. the goatee, um, you know, long kind of anime hair. Wow. And um, yeah, it sort of worked for me. I booked some pretty fun, fun roles. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Dude, you have to like give me tips when I come up there. It's like I'll, I'll, I'll do like the Mr. Clean thing, right? I'll get a nice shave going. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> yeah, oh. man. No, you have to be unique, and you yeah. definitely have a unique look. So it's so. it's a it's an asset for you. Yeah, cool. Um, so with this, every with the parkour and all of this stuff, I'm actually, uh, I just got back into the gym. I'm walking right. four miles a morning. Like I get up at six thirty in the morning. I go out and I walk for an hour before I go Good work. Yeah. And wow. three days a week in the gym. Give give you know you're like you're really in shape. I mean you you do the parkour, <laughs> you do the gym thing. Give us our listeners a bit about you know something easy that they could do say at home to kind of stay in shape. I mean is it is it just push ups? I mean people like argue about sit ups nowadays. Like you can't do it this way, you can't do it that way. Right. It's for your bad for your back. Blah blah blah. Sure. So sure. is there anything <clears throat> that you like to do at home when you can't get to the gym or something like that? Something just to get the heart pumping. Um, yeah, I mean, push-ups is a great one. I, I kind of give myself headaches doing push-ups just because I'm kind of prone to migraines. Okay. So it can, sometimes like my back muscles get a bit tense. But push-ups is a great one to do. Mm -hmm. Even some tricep dips when you're, you know, if you're just watching TV, just go on the edge of your couch, do some tricep dips. Okay. Kind of put your, put your legs out in like a little crab you walk. Tricep, and you get triceps like this. There you go. Whoa, <laughs> man. Don't break the camera, man. Don't Jeez. break them. Just, just, Jeez. Don't hurt him, Hammer. Don't hurt him. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Hammer. <laughs> um, I used to have a uh, chin-up bar in my room. Oh, really? Which I love, yeah. Because I'm a monkey. Like I'm yeah. born in the year of the monkey. I kind of okay. love to monk. I'm people say I monkey around. And uh, yeah, I just love doing chin-ups. I really enjoy it. Uh, you know what? So, I've never been able to do a chin-up in my life. Not with that attitude. Well, dude, I'm 250 freaking pounds, okay? You, you could do it. Uh, go, yeah, with two blown shoulders. Sure, no problem. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying. You'll, you'll get there. You, it just needs like, you just practice. It's crazy. Um, okay, so I also have to bring up this awesome picture. This awesome. You're gonna love this picture, I swear. Okay. I have a bit of a lag, so I might not see it. Okay, as soon it's as about as a 30 second lag. But here's 
here's the gentleman with his waifu pillow. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is this is the gentleman with his flash century body pillow. Oh gosh. Look there he is. Isn't that awesome? This guy, right? That guy, right there. <laughs> the guy that was in the black tank top. Yeah, yeah, but this is just you with you and the pillow. <laughs> I, I think Stefan this is a Stefan Andrews tweet. Yes. That he she was like, I gotta take a photo of you, man. Turn yes. around. That was I look like I'm fifteen and like three foot tall. It does. That thing is ginormous. It, that it, thing is tall and crazy than... big. Yeah. But that's that's so much fun to see you you and the guys actually, you know, <laughs> embrace everything that's going on and not really care. It was like, such a beautiful gift, you know, when they brought it into to the autograph room. I was like, You want me to sign that? Yeah, for sure. Like and I know it's a gift for you. I'm like, No, come on, you can't do that. It was like Oh, so such that's, a... that's actually yours. It's it's really it's very beautiful. You but, have that. Yeah, it's mine now. In your house. Yes, it is. Where does it live? It lived on the bed for like a little bit, <laughs> really? and then I was like, "This thing is way too big." Wow. And by little bit, I mean like a few hours. Okay. <laughs> I was like, "This thing can't live here," uh -huh. and uh, it's kind of creepy to be sleeping with my own character. Oh, yeah. So you hung it in the closet, probably. Yeah, it's in. It's he's in the he's, he's in, in the, the closet. closet. Wait, wow, that's a whole different thing. Dusty. Oh, nope. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. I led you there, but you didn't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> See how I work this game? But it... <laughs> Next. Next question now, please. Next question. Who's yes. next? So we're talking about Garble, Garble Blue Blood, the Delicate from Mertonia. Any of these characters that you've done that yes. you sort of pine to go back and do again? Just like some larger story that might be out there for these characters that's somewhere in your mind that you think um, that could be told. I love doing Blue Blood. I think Prince Blue Blood was one of the funnest characters to do. Yeah. He was, he's hilarious. He's such an idiot. I mean, um, he, yeah, he was in, like, in season one. Mm -hmm. he's, bar he's barely been in any other place. No, but he's, he's, still, he's still such a, a, a defining character. Oh, you know? fun. He so, was fun. Yeah. He's, a, he's a funny guy to, to do. He was just so arrogant and conceited. Mm-hmm. So when do you get to play that, right? So. Yeah, when he gets he, arrogant, conceited, and, and funny. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, um, Osaka Jack. Do okay. you know Osaka Jack? Yeah, of course. He, um, I was on his show like a few weeks ago, and he had emailed me the Japanese version. Oh, of really? Prince Blue Blood. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's cool. Hey, uh, let's see. Screwball. Screwball, you there, buddy? I know he's there oh. somewhere. Uh yeah, sorry I was unmuting the mic. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Screwball is here. Let me get Screwball up in my up in the. Hi uh, Screwball. Hi Vince. Hi Dusty. Hi buddy. What's up? Oh, not much. We're just sitting here talking. Yes, and I'm listening. I'm creeping away. You're creeping away. <laughs> creepy. Creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. Sort of like. And, and, and you've spent a little more time with Vince than I have, because you actually spent some time in Vancouver during that. I know. Uh, that wonderful time when he got his pillow. <laughs> oh yes, I'm sure. I'm sure you might have a couple of questions for, for Vince. Oh, we watched Actually, like Air Force the... together. Uh, Screwy took me out a white spot. Nice. Had a good bond. Yeah, we went to we went to lunch together. We got hang out. It was it was a good time. Uh, me, Marjan, and you, we all went together to that. Uh, What's it called again? White spot. White spot. Bro, when I move down there, like at the end of this month, mm -hmm. we're going to there again, or we can go somewhere. <laughs> white spots. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? Dusty, take that photo off. Oh, you don't like that one? Oh my gosh. Oh, well, okay. I'll take that my one. My hair. Okay. Uh, you mean that one? Yeah. Wow. No, look at my hair. Oh my god. Okay, well I'll just put this other yeah. this other hair this other hair one up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on a total lag, so I'm just gonna yes, wait. That's to the same hair. So uh, you know what? I'll put tough guy up. How's that? I just, I'll just put tough guy. Okay. Up. <laughs> there you go, we just leave tough guy up there. Yeah, just leave him up there. Just you know, that's how I walk around all the time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Want me to do Flash Sentry? You know what? I don't think so. Not today. I don't think so. Not, Not today, bud. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm a nice guy. Um, I swear to God, I'm a nice guy. Just say hi to me. Throwing <laughs> Laban. No. Laban. Uh, screw it. Yes. You have a question for the man? Actually, I do. Uh, no, this has been killing me for quite a while, Vincent, because uh, uh, I remember, I don't know, six, five months ago, you made that, uh, you did that that uh, Frozen music with Shannon Kent. <laughs> oh, he did, yes. Yes. 
I did. And 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 ever since I never talked to you about that when we were in Vancouver, and I'm like, he needs to make another. And through those months of constant waiting, nothing has appeared. Are you ever <laughs> going to make a new something with that with like your singing because you have I, an amazing singing voice? Oh, thanks, man. I wasn't too pleased with my own voice on that video, but that's just me being extremely critical of myself. I know I sound better than that. Shannon's like flawless. She's amazing. Yes. Um, but I would love to make some more videos. It was a little, um, it was a bit of a one-off thing for me just because a friend of mine, Wes, who runs Coco Studios, he's an engineer there. He runs a lot of the cartoons over there. He writes music as well, and he asks me to sing for him on some of his tunes. And he says, you know, you know we'll do a little um, kind of swap. So I, he just gives me some studio time. And I thought it would be fun to do a little song. And so I asked Shannon to, to sing um, that song from Frozen, and it was really fun. And uh, I would love to do more. I would love to do more. And I, w I don't know if it would be all Disney music or just some like popular duets. But I would like to collaborate with people. That's the fun part of it. It's just kind of like asking all my really extremely talented friends who mm, who do voiceover. You know. How about how about so, your extremely so untalented friends like me and Screwball? <laughs> I, I can't guys. sing. Don't you dare try to put me on that. <laughs> 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 That'd be fun. It would be a trio. It'd be great. We'll do a little barbershop quartet. There you go. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yeah. We can do some barbershop quartet. Scooey like... has all the solos. Yes. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> you have the high voice, therefore you have to have the hope for the solos. Yeah. So you have the bass voice, which means I have no solos whatsoever. Right. No, you you got the bass voice. You're, See, you're lower the mark. Oh, what was the the uh, the pony? That was it. The pony tones from yes. the uh, yeah, like yeah, well, definitely. Mm -hmm. Dusty would be the Big Mac of the bunch. <laughs> bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. awesome. We are yeah. at five thirty, so we're half half an hour into show. You know what? I've got an announcement about a brand new sponsor later tonight. I don't have a commercial for him yet, but we have a brand new sponsor. I'll have an announcement about our sponsor later tonight, but we don't have a commercial yet. I, I'm, I'm, we just moved to this new network. I'm very busy right now. So, you know, I'm doing content as fast as I can. So hopefully by next show we'll have a, a real commercial ready to go. But we're gonna just gonna slide right past that. We're just gonna go slide right past it. And we're gonna go to conventions. We're gonna talk convention season. Because we are gonna get in the thick of it here really, really soon. So we're gonna get into, let's say, BabsCon. BabsCon's coming up April 3rd through 5th, 2015. The guest list is huge now. Huge. So we got Kathy Westluck, Tara Strong, Daniel Ingram, Stephen Andrews, Claire and Ian Corlett, Brian and Brenna Drummond, Andrea Libman, Marika is going to be there, Gilda and Sonata Dust, um, Peter New, GM Barrow, Heather Neufer from the comics, Bobby Curno, who's writer-editor of the comics. Uh, it, it goes on and on. Lots of people. <laughs> Lots of people are going to be there. Plus, they're still doing the voiceover contest. So if you if you want to be in the voiceover contest with Tara Strong telling you what you know to chirp like a monkey, then do a do a video and put it up on YouTube and send it into their website, and then and maybe just maybe you'll be up on stage chirping like a monkey for Tara Strong. Um, Everfree Northwest, May 29th to 31st. John Delancey is going to be there. He hasn't been to one in forever. Nicole Oliver is going to be there. Tabitha St. Germain is going to be there. I'm sure they're going to get more because, you know, th they haven't even started to announce a whole bunch of stuff. It's just those three for right now, but I'm sure more are going to be coming. They're too close to Vancouver not to have more people like Vincent Tong um, come to that convention. Uh, bring me. Yes, bring me. Bring me. They, they are taking donations <laughs> for their charity auction. The charity auction was huge last year. Huge. I, we, the, the, up there is the quilt. It's huge. The it's huge, huge quilt. Yeah. They're doing another quilt, I hear. So awesome. um, lots of stuff there. So if you want to uh, donate something for their charity, go to everfreenw.com forward slash charity for the donation form. Okay. And then, of course, the one this gentleman is going to, PonyCon NYC. NYC. February 14th to 16th. By then, hopefully the snow will be gone. Um, <laughs> Ingrid Nilsson, Daniel Ingram again, Vincent himself, Andrea Libman will all be there. Um, they're having a flash sale right now. Flash sale. The next 100 people, and I know it's been going for a couple of days, so maybe the next 60 or however many they got left, three-day ticket purchasers will get a free Pinkie Pie, Maud Pie, collector's lunchbox, tin thing. It's awesome. 
That's wow. super awesome. I collect those little box tins. They're great. So if you buy a three-day ticket, you're going to get that for free. So and so, so go get your – if you're on the East Coast and you want to go see this man right here and you like tins, go get, <laughs> go get the three-day. And uh, also something else, huge announcement, huge announcement. Jason Thiessen, Big Jim Miller will be doing a Skype call with a world premiere trailer from Season 5. That's world premiere Season 5 trailer. That's huge. So, huge. 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 That's huge, man. That's huge. That's a really big. That's a big thing, man. That's a big thing, man. You gotta see yes. that. So, that's what's going on right now. And we're gonna have some more conventions. Some, some of the smaller conventions are starting to announce their stuff. Coming up next show, we're gonna start talking about those guys. So, keep an ear to the grindstone. Go. We're making some changes to manliestbrony.com with upcoming events on that. So, check that out. Um, we'll also have. Uh, there's going to be a calendar of upcoming shows on Cantalot Hills website in the calendar. So we'll keep that updated for you, so you know everybody who's coming up on this wonderful program in the future. Um, and with that, that is conventions for now. Now we're going to go straight into charity because we like charity around here. You guys really like charity around here because the last charity, Golden Retriever Rescue of Atlanta, raised one thousand. And six bucks. One, that's one thousand. And six dollars. Wow. You guys did awesome out there. Thank you very much for all of your help. Thank you, a taco squirrel, for putting us over the edge, buddy, right there at the end. So for that, I've got this pile of stuff over here. And we're going to go through that. So I got you a little spaghetti-haired rainbow dash. I've got a brushable rarity, because everybody needs a brushable. If you don't have a brushable yet, you're not really a brony, okay? So, and then I've also got... The uh, Nurse Red Heart that you can get at Walmart. Or not Walmart. <laughs> Walgreens. Thank you very much. Um, and then I've got all of the uh, Twilight Sparkle Secret Ship Fix Folder cards that I've got laying around, which are the specials from all the conventions. Plus mine are in there. And, of course, because we had Andy Price on last time, who was the comic book guy, I've got like four comic books for you here. The four wonderful comic books. And because we broke 500 bits, you... Whoever comes out of this hat will get an email from one Andy Price. And you'll get to pick one of four different original art pages from published MLP comics. One I'm so jelly. So <laughs> jelly. Look at how many names are in this hat. Look at this. Look at how many names are in this hat. I had to have a bigger hat because of all the names. So I am going to dig deep in this wonderful hat and see if I can pick your name. Can I pick your name? I don't know. I'm not even looking in the hat, but I'm going to pick this one right here. Right here. Let's see who's on this little piece of paper. Are you kidding me? Who? Our new boss, Bash Script. What? Bash Script. Oh! Who not only is our new boss, but gave the largest chunk a $250 donation to this charity. He, he did? did? He, yes, he became the newest member of the rarity list on our well, website. He definitely deserved it more Absolutely than anyone. Basket. Holy cow. Amazing, buddy. We're going to talk later. Not only because we have things to talk about about the site, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to get you that stuff. Uh, I, can awesome. see, I can see him on the chat. He's saying yeah in all yeah. caps. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, bashy. There you go, buddy. So we're going to get that to you a little bit later. And so with that... Andy Price is out of here. So the, the puppies get lots of kibble for $1,006. Thank you very much, everybody, because, you know, around here we lost one of our dogs and we're still missing them. Bonsai. I love you, buddy. Um, so Vince. Yeah. Vince is here. Vince has a wonderful charity, which is local to Vancouver, the Covenant House in Vancouver. Yes. Um, I've got a little blurb here I'm going to talk about. Uh, being out on the street is a nightmare at any age, Okay. Uh, but when you're young, it's even worse. You don't have horrible things happen to young people on the street every day. Um, and Covenant House takes those kids off the street. They don't care how they got there. They don't care, you know, any of that. It's like get them off the street, get them some help, and as fast as possible. Because just being even in the winter up there is not great. It's beautiful mm -hmm. right now, but man, it gets nasty up there. So the Covenant House of Vancouver is a shelter for young adults. We have nowhere else to go. Protection, food, medical help, um, anything that they can do for these kids um, to get them off the street. So, Vince, tell us a little bit about why you love this charity. 
Um, Covenant House is a place that I've been bringing a lot of my own clothes to for years, just mm-hmm. like as a donation. Uh, and they're always just such genuinely great people there that work there and who volunteer their own time there. And I think it's just a great organization that, you know, exactly what you said, they, they provide a safe shelter and uh, some, somewhat of a, a temporary home for them to feel okay. You know, because, you know, yeah, you're right. In Vancouver, it rains a lot. The weather's not the best 90% of the time. So these pe- there's people sleeping under bridges, mm-hmm. on benches, uh, you know, places that they can get hurt. So mm-hmm. Covenant House provides them with, with shelter and with clothes and with food. And they have activities there that, um, that will stimulate them to, to, to go out and, and, and try different things. And, and I'm hopefully going to be volunteering there soon myself. Oh, good. So, yeah, awesome. I'm excited. Sweet. Yeah. So for that, you know, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We got, I got a pile of stuff over here and you're going to see a theme going on. Okay. There's a little bit, a little bit of a theme. Okay. First, first thing we're going to start off with is a couple of blind bags. I got a couple of these late model blind bags hanging around. So get two blind bags. Then spaghetti hair twilight. So spaghetti hair twilight in the middle of that. Then I also have this wonderful Japanese manga with twilight sparkle on the cover. So I got one of these laying around. So that, which you can't get unless you order offline. This is actually the one that was published in Japan. Japanese so, sparkle! Yes, Japanese sparkle! Oh, so oh. this yes. Then a brushable Twilight Sparkle. Hmm, there could be a theme going on here. I wonder why. Maybe because Flash Century's here. But and then also, <laughs> I was digging through my stuff. Right? I was just digging through my stuff. And I found another one of these. Twilight Sparkle foil card. Uh huh, huh. These were going for big bucks on on eBay. So I got another one of those. Last one for this one. Now, that's just for if you give us anything, right? But if we break 500 bits, then I think Vince is going to kick in something. Tell us about it, Vince. Oh, just a little thumb thumb. Just a little something, something? A little something, something. Would it be this? Uh, <laughs> oh, it would be that. It would be that. Yes. This, that is, would be the... this is Ash Person with a Rainbow Rocks Equestria. Well, it's not a Rainbow Rocks. It's actually the original Equestria Girls. Yes, Applejack right. signed by the Ash Person. Yeah, and actually that's in, uh, that's in the, the Dick and uh, DHX studio. Yes, in the DHX oh. studio where she signed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, we just did that like a few days ago. Yes. So, yeah. if we break 500 bits, which I know we will, we always do, then this is going to get shipped to me, I get to fondle it lovingly, <laughs> and send it on to you. Because I can't have it. You can have it. So, we're going to have There you go. So, 500 bits, this. Do it. Do it. I got her to sign it. She was so happy about yeah, it. Absolutely. She Look at the smile. Well Look at the smile on this woman. Look at the smile. I know. She's, she's, so she's happy. smiling. She's smiling as big as when she's actually on stage with her band. Exactly. Look at that. She's giving it love. Giving it the love. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. So when I lose my, my earphones, there we go. So, like I said, kids off the street. Kids need to get off the street. All of this stuff, all the Twilight stuff, this thing. Beautiful. We're going to do it again because we do it. Hopefully this year, we broke 50 grand last year. We Woo! broke 50 grand last year. Let's do it again so we can break 100 this year. Do it again. By the end of the year, I want to break 100 grand. You think we can do it? I know we can do yes. it. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Get the tough guy back up there on the, sh- on the oh. screen. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to put that picture up because that picture is going to beat me up if I don't. Get that girl out of there. Get that girl out of there. Yes. So now is the time when all of you lovely people out there in TV land... Get to ask this gentleman all your wonderful questions. But remember, you got to go through Screwball. So if you're on the ICQ chat, make sure you ask questions through Screwball, and we're going to get you some questions. So, Screwy. I've been collecting a bunch. I'm sure you've been collecting those. Sort of like, you know. I'm a collector. Rainbow Rocks cards. I'm sure you've been collecting those questions. So give us a couple of questions right off the bat, y'all. Okay. Uh, so this is from Spike Farming. Hey, Spike. Uh, how you doing, buddy? I love him. Awesome. <laughs> uh, question for you, Vince. Uh, in this, uh, uh, this is quoting him. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you were okay. Part I, I can't read. Uh, part if you were, were uh, part if I, I'm not mistaken, you were Katsu uh, Chen on Arrow. 
If so, what do you think of the new take on Arrow? Um, I was, yeah. I just did a, a part on, on Arrow, um, which I was antagonizing Arrow himself. Mm. And uh, it was a pretty cool scene where like, there was an explosion behind me and I got to smirk and smile on his face. And uh, the new take on Arrow, well, that is a very interesting question. I haven't seen a single episode of Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> you should. It's good. It's is good. It? Yeah. The truth is I, I, I watched, yeah, I watched quite a few with my dad, and I, 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 I find it to be rather entertaining. Okay. I haven't seen your episode yeah. yet, though, so it's oh, like really? yeah. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> okay. Because I never, yeah. I think I've seen you tweet it or something, and or someone tweeted it, and yeah, I, tweeted I'm like, it, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, okay, I did not know this, and I have to find the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm maybe like episode eight or something like that of the third season. Mm-hmm. I don't, I think, I, I think don't call I'm, me I think though. I'm pretty sure I'm only in season two because we have catching okay. up to do. There you go. Yeah, man, I'm sorry, I don't know too much about the show, so. Uh, I did a little bit of research, you know, prior to my going on the show. Just watching a few few clips and such, but uh, sorry, I haven't watched even a full episode. <laughs> well, you got to at some point. It's okay. All right, I'll check it out. <laughs> check it out. Uh, so this one is from Red Card for you, Vincent. Uh, and actually, you know what? A lot of people have been asking this. I mean, a lot. So stop sending this question. Okay. Stop sending <laughs> but, the question. Um, uh, so this is, uh, what's your reaction to everyone in the fandom, fandom calling you waifu stealer? <laughs> um, well, at first I had to find out what the heck that meant. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I was just like, okay, I gotta steal some waifus then. There you go. No, um, it's kind of <laughs> funny. It, it's, it's funny. I kind of, I embrace it. I embrace it. Yes. People kind of make fun of it. and It's all in good fun. Yeah, I, I feel I feel it is just because it's it's a funny term mm-hmm. to begin with. Yeah, but um, I'm not personally as Vincent. I don't want to steal anybody's waifu. <laughs> um, maybe Flash indirectly has done so, but um, I <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 a really funny funny term. Yeah, um, I embrace it. It's fine. Twilight I, makes I, her own I, choices. It, yeah, stop it. she can do whatever yeah, she wants. Yeah, stop making her choices for her. <laughs> she's a she's a grown woman. Absolutely. Yeah, I, don't, um, I mean, I get some I get some people like um, shouting some stuff on Twitter about it, but I really don't pay no heed. Yeah, heat. like that's gonna do anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't get too bothered by it. It's all yeah, good. It's all good. I'm confident with who I am. Yes. I mean, look at the tough guy picture. I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. Confident. Confident. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, so this one is uh, from Flare Cobra. Actually, this, uh, this one's to you, Dusty. Okay. Uh, Flare says, "I saw I saw on Twitter a night with Animaniacs. How was that?" That was really really cool. I mean, it was a it was a nice maybe five hundred seat theater, and we were down in the orchestra, and it had uh, all three characters, all th- all three voice actors were there. And then the the guy who wrote the music, um, and there was a lot of them award winning music, and they sang all the songs from the show. They showed a couple of cartoons. They they had really neat uh, stories from when they did the show twenty years ago, um, which is great because Animaniacs was one of my favorite shows back in the day. And when I had the opportunity mm. to go see them for like forty bucks, heck yeah, I'm gonna go see them. Um, and I got them to sign the program and all that stuff. So it was it was really cool seeing them. And, and Rob Polson being from Detroit, like I'm from Detroit too, so it was kind of cool. Um, it, was, it was a great time. It really was. That's good. Yeah, because the senior tweet that now is so jelly. <laughs> I know, me too. I was totally jealous. <laughs> um, uh, so this one's from uh, uh, Ricard, OFR200. Um, que- a question for you, Vincent. What was the funniest and or the most awkward moment in your career as a voice actor? Funniest or most awkward moment? Oh, this is awkward. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I experience really funny moments in the studio all the time. Um, I mean, I think I shared many with you guys last, like, two years ago with, oh, yeah. you know, with someone making a fart noise. Oh, yeah. Which oh, is, like, yeah. my staple noise now. I constantly just go, <laughs> all the time. It's hilarious. It's really fun. 
and um, uh, this I, I did I did this um, I do this cartoon called Nerds and Monsters, right. and uh, I just could not stop laughing for the life of me. I, I I don't even remember really what the line was. It was. I was just trying to be really serious and yelling at someone, and I just couldn't do it. And I was like in tears. I was laughing so hard, and I just I'm the worst at corpsing. I just laugh my face off all the time, and I can't stop. That's why, like, when I'm doing live theater, I have to really concentrate so hard. Whenever I start to feel it, like, my, my like lip is kind of twitching, and mm-hmm. I know I'm going to burst out laughing. I picture, like, my director out there just, like, shaking his head at me. Going, like, <laughs> no, you don't. Like, you're terrible. Yeah, you're so terrible. Yeah. Don't you dare laugh. And then I kind of get my focus back. Yeah. But um, yeah, even today I was doing uh, I was doing um, some voices for a new uh, video game from Clay Entertainment, uh-huh. and um, and this playing this like agent and or, or this guard, and I have to like about to, he's they're like okay it's kind of a weird line he's just gonna say like I think he's behind the door but say it really cool because you're like a cool agent mm-hmm. but you're gonna kick down the door so it doesn't really make sense but uh-huh. just say it and I'm like okay. I think there's someone behind the door. I just started giggling. I'm like, <laughs> I can't do this line. This can't. And we, we're, they were laughing. I was laughing. I think there's yeah, someone it was behind just a the lot door. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. If I did that, I would be fine with it. But I'm supposed to say it like totally nonchalant. Like, I think someone's behind the door. And they kick it open. <laughs> so it's like totally odd. Odd. Oh, but also, um, speaking of odd, for uh, for another video game, Sleeping Dogs. Okay. Um, there's like a secret level where it's, it takes place in like Chinatown. No, no, not China, in Hong Kong, I think. Ooh. And uh, the, it's like this, this undercover agent, he's pretending to be like some undercover um, gangster. Mm-hmm. And uh, he goes into a karaoke bar and he sings karaoke for this like secret level or something mm-hmm. like that. And so I got hired to sing karaoke songs for this gangster. <laughs> and it was all like 80s ballads nice. and like. And I had to sing Air Supply. <laughs> I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. And like, it's just so funny to me. Seeing this like badass gangster Asian triad member singing this stuff. And then I had, and then I had to sing Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Yes. Which I barely got through. And then they wanted me to sing Like a Virgin. <laughs> touch for the... And I could not do it. The engineer, the director was laughing. So I'd be like, dude, you're doing so well, man. Just, just try to get the chorus down, okay? You, you, you got this. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Play it, play it, okay. Like a virgin. <laughs> I was like, I can't. They're like, okay, man, thanks for trying. But we, okay, we can't. We're just going to cut it. We're going to have only like six songs and screw it. We can't do it. <laughs> it was so difficult. Those sleeping dogs, really? Yeah, sleeping dogs. Oh, I got to find that. Yeah, I haven't played it, but I think, uh, yeah. We got to do the duet, Vince. Yeah, I'm we should do a duet. Like, three, two, one. I'm all out of love. I'm so, I'm so lost, lost without, without you. you. So <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that Will Ferrell, Chris Kattan? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. that was so funny. Yes, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh. Next. Uh, so this one's from Toon, Toon Geek 45 Question for you, Vincent. Um, when doing scenes of voice acting, do you do your scenes in the same room with the others or separately? Yeah, uh, good question. So for prelay, things that are not drawn yet, they will record our voices and then animate to our voices. So stuff like the cartoons that you watch, like MLP, um, Death Note is different. It's like an ADR or a dubbed cartoon. So that cartoon's already been done. Yes. Uh, so in those instances, we are by ourselves in a room with a TV and the script. And so we have to watch the what's going on, the action in the cartoon, and then kind of sync up the what they call the lip flaps when we're when we're talking. Um, but for shows like My Little Pony, we are all in in the room together, you know. Thankfully, uh, so you, you get a, a I feel at least a lot better performance because it's quite organic and and we can all see each other and kind of react and and kind of even look at each other sometimes when we when we want to really get engaged. So yeah. It's, it's fun. It's fun doing MLP because you're just surrounded by all these lovely ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because not much. There's not much guy actors. Uh, no, in, in that show, so not much just... guy action in that one. <laughs> <laughs> which I guess a lot of bronies would prefer, but. 
Uh, I'm I'm I I I'm indifferent. I I I love the guy actors, but it's the girls that make it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. I love the ladies. <laughs> Uh, so this one is from Waveform to all. What are your current convention plans for the year? Oh, jeez. Um, well, for me, I'm just going to PonyCon MIC. Yes. And there might be one coming up later in the year. <gasps> but hopefully I'll be invited to more. Yes. i to <laughs> sing you a song. Get your agent on Oh, that. please do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come, come, my, down to, come down to freaking Seattle, dude. Just, I want to. Jump in the car and come. I should. Just do Scratch it. Just look at far. I mean, just, hey. just jump in the car. I'll, I'll put you on the floor in my hotel room. We're great. We're going to be great. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Done. Right. <laughs> if you show up, I'll put you on the floor in my hotel room. I'll, I'll bring a sleeping bag. Perfect. <laughs> You're too kind. I'm too I kind. See. You're too kind. What yeah, do you, have? you should just come You're back. Fantastic. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing, let's see, I'm doing Babs. And then I'm doing, uh, of course, Seattle. Uh, Everfree Northwest. Um, BronyCon. Those are the big three. So right. those are That's the, Baltimore, right? That's Baltimore, yeah. That's the big three. So anything else outside of that is up in the air. Because people can, you know, cons can either, you know, talk to me about working their con or whatever. You know, I'm still waiting for people to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Milwaukee was the only one that really did it last year. They brought me out as a VIP. I, I worked for them the entire weekend. It was great. Everyone loved it. It was beautiful. So if anybody wants me to do that, come talk to me. Um, but the contact three, this man. Contact me. You I need an agent. People. I need Shelly. I need Sherry. Sherry Fowler. I need to sign with you so you can like get me these gigs. So, there you go. Yes, I love Sherry. She's awesome. Um, yeah, but that's those are the big three. So uh, from there on out, I don't. I'm not sure where I'm going yet. Cool. Screwball. How about you? Uh, well, that huge move to Vancouver. Yes. Is quite the. Uh, so Brony can obviously. Obviously, Brony can, yeah. but I'm, I'm really not sure about anything else because okay, it's so just... So Vince will kidnap you, throw you <laughs> in the trunk of his car, and bring you to Seattle. Oh, yes. that'd be fun. Yes. <laughs> I, can, I can see it now. <laughs> yes. so. I, okay, I can actually see this, Dusty. You're, yeah. putting, you're putting Vincent into a big, a big, really big, like, uh, uh, compartment, yes. and then Vincent's putting me in his suitcase. So it's yes. like a suitcase inside a suitcase, and then you're carrying us both. Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, I can do that. So that's that's totally how it works. <laughs> Perfect. That's how it works. <laughs> um, oh, come on, there we go. Uh, so this one's from Flare Cobra with the release of Crescent Girl stuff that seemed to involve archery and motocross. Do you yes. think this could be some kind of hint about hint. the third movie? Hint. hint. The third movie? Yes. Well, they're, they're bringing a toy lineup that seems to be like sports and stuff. Mm. So what? Yes, the third the third movie. Is rumored to be Equestria Games, but in the human what? world. What? Yes, and they've already announced an archery toy, and Rainbow Dash and Sunset Shimmer with motocross gear. Oh my goodness! So I'm like, with me in the motorcycles, I'm like vibrating. I want to see pictures <laughs> of these things, and I want to see them yesterday. <laughs> Whoa! So I'm like, yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. If if they have Rainbow Dash with an actual motorcycle toy, I will buy them all. Oh my god! I all think of so. them. They could just keep producing them. You can have, them you can have mine. Them. They're mine. <laughs> okay. You got to share, Dusty. No, mine. Yes, yes sharing. Sharing. No. sharing. No sharing. Mine. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I know. But there you go. <laughs> Jeez. So, um, yeah. So, oh. it's really exciting. That is exciting. Yes. What is it? Are they going to make a Flash doll? I hope so. They need, well, okay. They need I love... I, lo I, I could totally see Flash also as a, a like, like a motocross, motocross or yeah. something like that because he does have that amazing car of his. But I'm pretty sure he's also he's probably got an amazing dirt bike too. Yeah. You know. Come on, guys. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Make a Flash Sentry doll. Please, exactly. please. You'll sell yes. like two of them. Yes. At least one At to least me and one, me, one to me and one to Vince. Exactly. Yeah. Sold. Sold. Just make two. Let's make two. <laughs> 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 Next! Uh, so this is from Sea Salt. Um, quest, uh, question. Oh, oh okay. Uh, question for everyone. Um, uh, when do you think we're going to get a Canadian style song? And then Sea Salt says, I want old Halifax uh, uh, accented sailor pony singing a Stan Roger ish song. <laughs> Holy crap. What? That is extremely East Coast. What, second, <laughs> what, what are we going to get? A second week of Deer Camp song? You know? <laughs> 
second week of deer camp and all my friends are here. Yeah, no. I don't think they're going to do that. Or the Zamboni song. You know? Zamboni song? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They should do some sort of Canadian uh, homage. I don't know. I don't know. Did you see... Did you see the Canadian Miss Universe contestant wear that dress last no. week? No. Oh, my God. Dude. She had, she had two wings on it, and the wings were made out of hockey sticks. <sighs> okay, the hat had a scoreboard. Oh, gosh. She they're just like... Re- all over her. It's enforcing that stereotype, eh? Yeah, we don't like do that. Eh? Come yes. on, man. We don't, we don't eat crazy. donuts all day, I, eh? Yeah. I don't condone to this. <laughs> We don't you know, do that. I live I live close enough to Michigan that that was the stereotype. It's like if I swam over the river I lived on, of course, I, everybody was going to be walking around with a hockey stick and like a 12 pack of Labatt's. Labatt's Blue, the, the, the best beer, eh? The best beer, eh? Actually, Molson <laughs> Canadian. I like Molson. Yeah, I was going to say Molson, Molson seems Canadian. much better. <laughs> no clue. Cool. I hate beer. I, can't drink. <laughs> I, 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 I don't do drink. Too. I don't drink, so. Oh, you don't? Me <laughs> I don't. either. I don't drink. Yeah. yeah, well, well, I, I drink, like, water and juice, but... <laughs> I drink water and ju- sometimes juice. Yes. Well, juice is- has a lot of sugar in it. Yes, this is water. Unless so. you get, like, like, like fresh squeeze. Fresh squeeze, then that's better. It's true. <laughs> I just throw everything in my Vitamix. Just oh, you're a Vitamixer. Yes, of course. Yes. We have one of those around here. I just haven't used it. The roommate has one, so that's a fun uh. to use, I think. Actually, the best Canadian stereotypes is those from South Park, uh, as is tradition. <laughs> I, I love, uh, I, lo- I, I love the Canadian stereotypes that we love to laugh at ourselves. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I just love the fact that we're always like apologizing, like sorry, flappy heads. So- no, flappy, saying flappy, sorry. Flappy, flappy, flappy. Except for um, was it Rick Mars report did that uh, talking to Americans? Or oh, yeah. he went down to the southern areas, and then he started making up random stuff with uh, Canada. Like, for example, he said that our Parliament Hill is made out of nothing but igloos, and, and it's made out of ice and stuff. But then there was a global warming, and it all melted. And then so the Americans actually believed it, and then they'd say, Sorry, Canada, for your Parliament Hill melting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and dear. because of that uh, uh, "quote unquote" attack towards the Americans, they actually—I uh, don't know if they—if it's still going on—but they banned him from going back to the states. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeesh. Um. So this one is from Waveform to Vincent. Who is your favorite pony? Oh dear. Oh dear. I was asked this like two years ago, and I said. What did I say? I said Applejack. I think you said Applejack. Just because I love Ashley so much. Yes. Um, But upon watching a lot more of these shows and... um, (laughs) Is that what I should say, Dusty? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Now that you've watched more of the shows. And um, watching watching Rainbow Rocks. I went to uh, Rainbow Rocks with Kazumi and with uh, Ingrid. Awesome. This is really fun. Yeah, we went to the theaters and checked it out. It was it was amazing. Um, I think um, Fluttershy is hilarious. Fluttershy so, is a scream. I just think she's really funny because she's extremely timid, and all her all of her lines mm-hmm. sort of get like pushed over by everybody else. Mm-hmm. And and then, but sometimes she can lose her. She's beep. Yeah. And. Uh, and I and I think Andrew is hilarious. Andrew, Andrew is so, just so funny. Yes, it's she's funny. very funny. She's so funny. She cracks me up. Also, she says the weirdest things. She says the weirdest, most random things, and <laughs> but she's so sweet, and she's always she always has a smile on her face, and uh, she cracks me up. Yeah. Also, love Ingrid's character, Ma. Oh my god, she got the best laugh in the theater. Did she? Yeah. She was yeah. Like, Boulder was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like dumping down the crackers onto it. Oh, yeah! Everyone in the theater had a hoot on that one. That was good. It's the best laugh. I actually took my uh, my friend who isn't even a brony to that, and oh, yeah. he said it. Uh, he said himself that it was not as painful as, as he imagined it to be. <laughs> it was. At, it was a very good movie. I, yeah. I thought they did a lot better with this one than the than the first one. I thought it was a great movie because even even they went so far as to when they were playing the instruments, actually playing actual chords. Right. right. Yeah. And it, it takes a lot to animate. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially sure. Flash. I mean, come on. So details. Yeah. It was it was a good movie. I I enjoyed it. Everyone in the theater enjoyed it. 
Mm -hmm. I still have to buy my copy though. <laughs> um, oh, so this one's from Ma. Uh, oops, I have to get rid of. Uh, so this one's from Marjan Lion. You might I know, know him. Vince. <laughs> Hi, Marjan. Uh, so hey everyone, first off, oh, okay, I'm just gonna read this out loud. Uh, first off, want to wish you the best of luck on your upcoming move, Scurry. It's really weird me reading that, but <laughs> thank you, Marjan. <laughs> uh, question for Vincent, what was your thoughts about the Brony fan when you first found out about it, and what was, uh, and what was your thoughts going uh, to your first pony convention? Um, my first thought, I didn't know what the heck it was. I thought bronies, like, whoa, this is a weird thing. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Because mm -hmm. um, I was talking to Ashley about it. And then I did my research and watched a bunch of YouTube videos starring um, the one and only Dusty Cat. And, um, and was pleasantly surprised at what I found. I, was, I found basically a whole bunch of people who was uh, putting love out into the world and putting out really good vibes and embracing people of every demographic. And, um, and then, you know, upon speaking to, to the, the fandom, I, I just learned that, yeah, this is really what the core mentality of this fandom is about, is about friendship and love and, and, um, and kind of being advocates of love for this world which I think is a very beautiful thing, which I think this world needs a lot more of. Okay. So, uh, I agree. So I totally embraced it. And, and going to my first um, con, which was Brony Can, I yeah. was very scared because <laughs> I had been researching my face off about the fandom and then about Flash Century mm -hmm. specifically because of that was a new thing that was coming out. And um, I was not digging the things that I was reading <laughs> about my character. So I was a bit scared. And... And, um, you know, I had I'd gotten some, some autograph art done because I, I was told that I was supposed to do that. So mm -hmm. Pixel Kitties, who was an amazing artist, yes. drew my, my autograph art. And, and I'm like, should I print like 10 of these? Like, I don't even think people are going to come up to me. Mm -hmm. And I was so scared. And, uh, and, but everybody was so embracing of, of me and uh, welcoming. So I, it was a pl another pleasant surprise. Yeah. That's where I got to meet you for the first time, too. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yeah, you and Marjan. Yep. Yeah. And Buttons. <laughs> and Buttons. I miss those guys so much. <laughs> Aww. Uh, uh, ooh, so this one's from Dirty Can. For all my e East Coast brony staves safe, we're expecting up to 36 inches of snow. Oh, ooh. goodness. Stay Oof. safe. Go buy a snowmobile. Yeah, I'll Got say. Up. Get your can blower. openers out and your, your, your cans of beans and yep. spaghettios. Don't no, go out. The ones with hot I'm, dogs. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's making me hungry. Actually, my mom brought him pizza right again? there. So, oh. Again. She always like, does this She does thing. that to him every time, Vince. Every Thanks, time mom. we're in the middle of the show, she brings in food and drops it in front of him. We should just do the show at his house. I'm telling you. Hey, you know what, Vincent? Since I'm in Vancouver, I should just get all the all the people just to come here or go there and then just exactly. like sit around at the mic just yeah. chowing right, down on jealous. pizza. Go ahead. Just tape ourselves eating pizza. Yeah, eh? <laughs> Macaulay Culkin did that. I'm sure. We'll get 100,000 views easy. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, though. I'd have to then pull out webcam or something just so you can see how ridiculous faces are numbing down on pizza. <laughs> Uh, but from uh, from Dirty Ken, uh, for you, Vincent, uh, has Black Grant ever gone over Flash stealing his waifu? <laughs> has sorry, what was that? Has Black Griffin uh, got over uh, Flash stealing his waifu? Black Griffin. See, I I didn't even know he had such an issue with it until I started <laughs> researching stuff because yeah. he was actually in uh, Edmonton with us at uh, at at uh, Brony Expo. Yeah. But um, he never said anything to me. It's most. It's mostly a gag, you know. He, he, he doesn't. He loves he doesn't, Twilight, and yeah, he's just, he's running with the gag. Trust me. Yeah, it's so weird. He doesn't uh, say anything face to face. Oh. Mm. Okay. What's up, Black Griffin? What's up, Black Griffin? You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. That's uh, he hasn't said anything to me. Nah, so. it's all in fun. It's all, all good. All in good. It's all, <laughs> it's all in good, man. It's all good. 
Dark Fall. Oh, actually, since he's in Vancouver, I gotta stop by and say hi to him at some point when I get down there. Yes, sure do. Yes. Uh. So, uh, I have to actually ask you a question, Vincent. How goes that parkour? Because I remember seeing you tweet uh, every time you did a jump, you'd yell out parkour or yeah. something parkour. like that. Parkour. <laughs> parkour. 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 <laughs> My voice was just raw at the end of that session. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, man. You know what? I'm still sore. I'm still sore from doing parkour. because we. Do. I have a, this um, elbow injury right now. I don't know what it's from. I did a jiu-jitsu class in de mm. December. and. I got caught in an arm bar, which I thought I tapped pretty quickly, yeah. but it, that's the only thing that I can think about that 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 could attribute to this injury. Mm. But uh, so I can't do too many arm things, and we were swinging around from these bars last class, and uh, I got pretty sore. So we, I stuck to a lot of leg work, and um, I'm so sore. We're just doing jumps from this platform to this, and then doing kind of like these like uh, cat grip. Things I don't know. So you jump to the, uh, like another, another wall, and you mm -hmm. kind of grip the top of the wall, and your feet kind of like plant on the floor, and then you kind of jump up to leap onto another wall, oh. and then we started doing front tucks, mm -hmm. front flips on the on the sprung floor on the trampoline. So my legs are gassed. I'm exhausted. You should probably call up Black Griffin because he does parkour too. Does he really? Yeah. So no probably, you guys should get together and do a video. Dude, of, of we're gonna parkour. do a little. Yeah, Black Griffin, if you're listening, let's yes. go parkour. Griffin, let's do it. Yes. Next. That is really cool. <laughs> um, so this one is from... Oh, this one's from Hoolicious. Uh, uh, he actually wants... To, no, I don't know the story behind this one, but uh, Vincent, please demonstrate your Angel Bunny voice you came up with at Fiesta Equestria during oh, the comic reading. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, because I, I really didn't even know who this little bunny was. I think I've seen them before, but... Man, you know what? I can't even remember what it was. But we did a comic reading, mm -hmm. and I had to play every character that wasn't uh, Fluttershy or Zakora. Right. And um, I made up this this voice for him because the animal started talking to to Fluttershy. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't even remember what it was, so I don't even want to do it because I think I might just mess it up. Okay. But I think he was a very aggressive. Very big, aggressive man voice, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is counterintuitive, but uh, that's just where my mind went. That's that's how he acts. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, who says it sounds like Mr. T? <laughs> oh, it sounds like Mr. T. Does. <laughs> sounds like this. I don't know. I forget. I really don't know. I forget. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. I should have brushed up on my own stuff. Oh, nah. <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, Pink Pearl wants to know, Dusty, um, oh. if she can send any Valentine's Day donations. Um, let's hold off, cause I've got, I've got, a, I've got a secret. I've oh. got a secret. I don't even know the secret. And you don't. But <laughs> yeah, Valentine's Valentine's show is gonna have to be something special. So I've got something already lined up. So thanks, thanks for the the offer, hun. But uh, I got something already. All right. Thanks a lot. Nice. Uh, Valentine's Day, also known as uh, Single Awareness single Day. day. <laughs> hearts and Hooves Day. Hearts and oh, Hooves yes, Day. Hearts and Hooves yeah. Day. Hello. Hearts and Hooves Day. That, that's, that's where the next day you can get chocolate for dirt cheap afterwards. Yes, chocolate for there dirt you cheap. go. Not good for guys <laughs> who are trying to lose another 20 pounds, like me. So. Which you've been doing really well at. Thank for you. the Thank for you. It, great, That's for sure. Yes. I've, got, I don't, I've got something special coming for BabsCon, so it's like... I got. I've got a deadline. It's like first week in April. It's, I got. Ooh. Yeah. So, deadline. As you, Flair kind of made me realize. He he says is uh, uh that they they should do a, a Twilight se secret like Valentine's Day special, like for the <laughs> ship pick folder or whatever. Yeah. There you go. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's this card game, Vince. That it's yeah. it's basically shipping ponies. That all. That's all it is. Oh, I think I played it. Yeah. I think I played it at Brony Can. That's, that's cool. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they were up there for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I think it's the same people. I think they're mm -hmm. going to be at, at, uh, at PonyCon uh, NYC. Okay. I think so. There's a lot going on at that convention. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. A lot. kind of wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, I have to move. Um, so this one is from Waveform to Vincent. Uh, 
What about your job as a voice actor? Do you, oh, what, what about your job as a voice actor? Do you find most difficult? Oh, um, I think it would be some of the the younger voices I do. Mm. Um, I'm doing this this um, show called Kong. I think it's called Kong. It's based off of King Kong. It's going to be for Netflix. And uh, I play this little boy named Danny. And uh, basically, his voice is down here, so he's like, he's really high, and he's kind of, you know. It's it's a hard voice to do at nine a.m. Oh, so yeah. I would but. say doing that voice and like, you know, he kind of like giggles a lot and like plays around with Kong. And, and so that that voice just kind of it's it's a hard voice to do, and uh, so I would say that would be a very difficult thing. Yes. Mm. There you go. Mm, there you go. It's sounding a lot like Mr. Mackey from South Park. Mm, okay. <laughs> Yo, guys, 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 guys. I think I think Twilight is playing with the magic mirror again because I'm getting the signal from Joe at Equestria at the desk in Ponyville. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I've got Joe Stevens on the line right now. So we're going straight to Joe Stevens. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't go nowhere. Thank you, Dusty Cats. This just in. Repeated exposure to poison joke has been proven to cause lung cancer. Fluttershy has three weeks to live. What? That can't be true. It turns out that the sound of Fluttershy's voice dropping into the lower octaves was actually her cells collapsing in on themselves. The sound of which widened the vocal cords in what is known as Marvin Gaye syndrome. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. I have to do another story. I can't finish this one. <clears throat> in other news, long-term exposure to rabbit fur causes blindness in ponies. Fluttershy was last found clutching Angel Bunny and blindly stroking his fur, only to be told that she'd accidentally stepped on Angel and was actually petting a rabbit badger. Uh, new story, new story. Um, oh, 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 oh. poison joke cures rabies. And replaces it with Lou Gehrig's disease? Why? Uh, poison joke also causes restless leg syndrome. Oh, well, 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 I guess that's not so bad. Which is why Fluttershy accidentally kicked herself in the face repeatedly. That doesn't even seem physically possible. Oh, uh, the, well, apparently poison joke also makes a pony flexible enough to kick herself in the face repeatedly. These are all symptoms of a disease caused by overexposure to poison joke, which has commonly been called Everfree Syndrome. Other effects include delusions of grandeur, crafting plans for Marxist utopia, burning ducks, and forming an ill-fated entertainment network. This is terrible! If only the dangers of repeated poison joke exposure had been known. How much more suffering does Fluttershy have to endure for the sake of medicine? Oh, bass-heavy tones of hip-hop, your sexual healing comes at too great a cost! It turns out that the cure for Everfree Syndrome is actually more poison joke and a heavy dose of naivete. (laughs) Apparently not knowing how it works makes it work. Kind of like how I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm Joe Stevens, and this has been a news brief from the Equestria Inquirer. Back to you, Dusty Cat. And there we are. Joe, Steven, straight from the desk in, in the question. Can you imagine the, the whole poison joke is, is like so bad for you that thing, look what happened to Fluttershy. I mean, wow, that's crazy. I mean, in, in, in media networks and, and all this stuff, Joe gets the good stories. I mean, Joe gets the really, really good stories. So come every show for EQI because he gets the, he gets the low down dirt on what's going on in Equestria every show. Don't miss it. And we're back with Vincent Tong himself. Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing great. Awesome. Ah. Let's see if Screwball has any more questions. Uh, I actually have one for you, Vince. Is What's what's your secret with your hair? <laughs> the secret with my hair? Yeah, because when, when you posted that, that tweet and you had your hair all perfect, I'm like, I wonder if I can simulate that, and I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, yours is awesome. 
That's my great. simulation was perfect. Yours is, is the yeah, best. Yeah, Mine was well the best. Done. I thought it was a picture of me. I, I thought we were. It was like a picture of me. Um, no, it's uh, it's the gel that I use. I have such straight Asian hair, so mm -hmm. it's really difficult to 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 get malleable. So I have to use some pretty heavy duty products sometimes. Um, if you can get a hold on some of some uh, Gatsby, it's called. It's oh, that's that new Japanese, stuff, isn't it? It's this Japanese hair gel putty stuff that's mm -hmm. crazy. You know, you kind of like put on your hands and you get all these little fibers out. But um, yeah, check some of that stuff out. It's pretty fun. The pink one. I think there's different colored ones, like depending on which uh, degree of hold you want. And the pink one's the best. Yeah, that's the cement, right? That's like, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's permanent. <laughs> permanent in. You don't have to worry about that, do you, Desi? No, I, I have no. I got to worry about turtle wax. That's what I have to worry about. So, turtle wax. Yes. Which, which flavor no. of turtle wax am I using on my head? Yes. Mm -hmm. Next. I actually, I actually been really dying for a haircut, and I think I might just do it myself because my hairdresser is like gone the entire time before I move. <laughs> do it. I've done it. I've done it. You know, many times. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably just buzz shave it. <laughs> or save it till you get to uh, Vancouver and find a new one. Yeah, that's true. But dealing with this hair, every time it gets my face, freaks me out. <laughs> you go to yeah. my barber. My barber is crazy. There you oh, go. really? Hey, there you Ooh, go. You Vince can take it to his yeah. barber. Done. Yeah, you give me like an address or something. I'll just run down there when I get there and like, do my hair quick. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Sweet. That'd be awesome. Um, so this one's from Wayform for you, Vincent. <laughs> Simple question. What do you do for fun? <laughs> what do I do for fun? Uh, I do parkour. Parkour. I, you know, parkour, parkour. Um, I like to be active. I like to uh, play sports, like frisbee a lot. Mm -hmm. um, go out for coffee and food. I like to eat with friends. Mm -hmm. I like to make food at home. Nice. Um, last night, I brought my Xbox over to my friend's house and played Halo for like four hours. There you go. So that was really fun. I'm like so... So old school. I'm playing Halo, like Halo Three, but that's just oh. the old, like one of the only games I have. So I have a PlayStation Two, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. nice. You got me beat. I, I never, I haven't even gotten to three yet. You know, they're already at five. I haven't even gotten to three. So I'm still playing PlayStation yeah. Two games. Yeah, five? Yes. Oh man. Wait, wait, wait. Five? What? PlayStation Five has got to be. No be working thing, on five. Silly, silly. Four has been out forever. Come what? on. I'm being silly. <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> I have PlayStation Six. Six I got plus. I got fifteen. You guys are way oh, in the past. <laughs> you're, launching Airplay. Your, you're launching your own rockets to Saturn with a sixteen. Exactly. You. Mine mine is so advanced it just puts me in the game and oh, I just fight things. No. It's pretty it's pretty cool. They had, to put those, <laughs> they had to put the implants in the back of your neck, didn't they, for that one? You know, when you buy oh, that geez. one, they just go and put the implants in, so you just go jack into the neck and they go straight into the brain. It waves. sounds like you're referencing something and it's I, really I killing me. I am. What is that? Matrix, come on. Make yeah, it. there you go. Okay, that's it. Uh, People! I can't remember, guys. okay? I'm like, what? Well, that sounds so familiar. <laughs> well, if you guys want to play games, I just wrote on one that you should go play. It's called Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink. At Clay Entertainment. That's Clay spelled K-L-E-I. And they've done such um, games such as Shank, Shank 2, Mark of the Ninja, mm. which I both worked on and Mark of the Ninja. voice directed. And uh, Don't Starve, which is a big, huge hit. Oh, them. Don't Starve. Yeah. Don't I, starve. I, is that like I, I, Oregon Trail, Don't Starve? <laughs> don't, yeah, I heard, I, don't Starve. I heard that one's a really fun one. I have yeah, no, it's a, yeah, it's a huge game. Yeah, people love it. Cool. Yeah. I think, I think that one's on Steam, too. Ah. I'm going to have to look into that because it sounds so familiar. <laughs> check it out. Check it check out. out. Yeah, check it you're, out. Like, you're like lost in this like big kind of forest and you got to... Survive. Nice. Survive in the dark. The okay, problems. yeah, I know what it is now. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember. My my friends at work always talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I was out, out there doing some some voices, and they they had all this cool swag out. I was like, oh man, these toys are awesome. They're like, do you want some stuff? I'm like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so they like they gave me this really cool uh, some some awesome T-shirts of of like Don't Starve and. And Mark of the Ninja, and uh, I got this statue of Mark of the Ninja. It was like so cool. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You know what, Scurry? Yo. You know what time it is? Is it? It? it no. <laughs> yeah, no. It's that time. The time of the evening when we have to start thinking about closing the show. 
because we're at that 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 time. Should we do that one thing we should do at the end of the show? Yeah, we'll do that thing. Vince. Yes. This is the new part of the show. The new part of the show. Where you. Yes. Get to ask me and Screwball something. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. So. Wow, you didn't even give me a chance to prepare this. Of course this. not. That's because it's an on-the-spot thing. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't got it. I didn't think so. Ah, see, I have this, like, the first thing that popped <laughs> in my mind was boxers or briefs. Oh, okay. Boxers or briefs? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's the first thing that came in my mind. <laughs> oh, jeez. But we don't have to answer that. No. Um, Rainbow Dash boxers, by the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's just standard. <laughs> standard issue for Screwball. Standard issue. <laughs> standard issue. Okay, question. Okay. If you guys were to have a character uh-huh. on MLP, <gasps> would you want it to be of yourself or of an OC or of something? completely different ah. well uh, uh, screwball's already <laughs> in the show so there you go so. really yeah well technically like i'm actually named after a yes, character he's from named after one of the screwball he's named after the screwball character that floated across the screen when discord took over the first time you guys you guys know way more than i do about yes. <laughs> yes so so he could either be that one or somebody else I, I think I think Sombra should come back. There you go. Oh, so you want to be Sombra? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I don't want to be. Okay. I just want to Vin- be back. Vince, Vince, can you see it now? Okay. Sombra comes back, and they yeah. hire Screwball for voicing him. Yeah. <laughs> but... I think that would be a little. Come on, Screw- come on, Screwball. Give me a crystals. Come on, give it to me. Uh, yeah, like I have to. I have to. Get my voice low like this. There you go. <laughs> perfect. Hire him now. Hire That's him. good. That's perfect. very good. Um. Me, I would probably have my OC would live on the outskirts of Ponyville, somewhere near uh, Sweet Apple Acres. So, and I would have a a blacksmith shop so I could fix things. Nice. And that's it. Overhaul would have his blacksmith shop, and and the Apple family would bring me their carts that were broken, and I would fix them, and I would build stuff. That's what I would do. And I'd cool. be in the background. I'd be like a background pony. That just does, you know, scene in the background, doesn't get into the storyline, doesn't even know what the heck's going on. I'd be over there fixing stuff. I'd be fine. And would you, would you be a um, very agreeable person, or would you oh, kind of, of have... Yeah? yeah? very agreeable person, yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Just don't take, just don't, like, short me on my bits. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Cool. So that's what, that's what I would do. And with that, we're at the end of the program. So I want to remind you guys one thing. We have a t-shirt. See this t-shirt over here? This one? Now, if you go to redbubble.com and look up Stay Brony, that's Stay Brony at Redbubble, and buy this shirt or any other designs we have there, then you're directly supporting the show now. The direct, all that money comes directly to the show. So we can get really cool things like new lighting, new camera, new stuff, so that we can make the show better, so we can entertain you more. So if you want to support the show by this shirt right here and i'll have more stuff going up there soon once we get some more stuff i've got a super secret uber duber secret project going on for that for a new t-shirt super uber duper secret project not even screwball knows what i'm doing well you're telling me after show i don't care what you Am say I? Okay. <laughs> yes. so super secret super secrets yes also our new New actual sponsor, a real sponsor, not a fake one like I was doing before. This is a real sponsor, is Little's Toy Company. Little's Toy Company is going to be sending us the awesome new My Little Pony products that we can give away on charities. They have a website that is littlestoycompany.com, and they're going to be in every show from here on out giving you guys the awesome new latest stuff that we're going to give away for our charity. So there'll be links on our website. There'll be links on our uh, YouTube uploads. Those guys are freaking awesome. They're sending me a bunch of stuff so that we can give it out to you and we can do better on our charity. So thank you very much to them. And you'll be seeing more from them in the future. That's really cool. Yeah, it is really (laughs) cool. That's great. It is great. So, and with that, I'd like to thank some people. I want to thank Vince for taking time out of his evening. Thank you. Absolutely, for coming. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Screwball. For doing everything that he does. 
that boy right there. Um, <laughs> Amy, my wonderful girlfriend who went up to San Francisco with me and watched people and laughed. It was a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful day out with my beautiful girlfriend. Aww. Lance Bubula, who without, I couldn't do any of this stuff. Lance, you know, Caridwin does a ton of things behind the scenes that you guys don't see to make this happen. So thank him every now and then, Yay. please. Um, Nathan, the roommate upstairs who was helping me doing all kinds of video production. Uh, Bash Script, our new boss who won the stuff. I'll talk to you after the show. Everyone busting their flanks over at Candlelight Hill Network to set this whole thing up. All you guys, thank you very much. And of course, everybody working on the show. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and the movies, and the toys, and all that stuff. We love you all. Thank you very much for everything you do. And, of course, everybody out there, you in TV land, who come and watch us make dang fools of ourselves every time I turn on camera. Every time. Every time. Our next guest, Screwball. I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> because I don't know. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't either. So in two weeks, somebody's going to show up. Not sure who. I'll be in Vancouver at that time. Holy you cow. Will. In two weeks, Screwball will be calling in from Vancouver. I'll have somebody here. I have no idea who. But... We'll have a show. Now, go to manliesburnley.com, give a couple of bits so you can get into that pile of stuff right there, and maybe that wonderful Ashley signed Applejack Equestria Girls doll. And with that, yeah. we're out of here for another day. So, love you. Be excellent to each other. And, you know, thanks for all the fish. Du, 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 du. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. We hate to leave you, but we'll be back soon. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night.